When you're growing up in a small town, you start to think and believe it doesn't get much bigger than this. Then once you finally venture out, you realize, maybe there's more to life. Maybe there's more to me. In order for me to get a, kind of get used to the big city of Hamilton compared to Wallsburg, I kind of just did my thing. I didn't really like Hamilton right off the bat, just because the, the first two visits that I went there didn't really go as smoothly as I wanted it to go. I didn't like the busyness and all that stuff compared to Wallsburg. In Hamilton, there's so much more hectic, so more, much more confusing. But when you finally come back to Wallsburg, it's just peace kind of serenity. There's not a whole lot to see. All you see pretty much is just this, the town of the town of Wallsburg itself and then it's just flatlands. It's just farmland and stuff like that which is kind of nice to see because then it kind of brings you back a little bit. It, doesn't, it kind of takes your mind out of that hecticness and rushing and just kind of calms you down, brings you back to peace. There's not really that much to do in this town other than go out and play with your friends, whether it be in the park uh, or whatever it may be. Uh, me and my friends were a little bit different though. We would make videos on for, to post on YouTube. It was me, best friend George, Jake, Justin, the twins, and a guy named Ian Cleary. We, <laughs> we got together and we just made a whole bunch of weird what we thought were funny videos and posted them on YouTube under the name The Nerd Her 995. I got your back, mate. There's still a lot of things that make Wallsburg what it is. Like there's this restaurant called Big Chief in Wallsburg. It's, it's a mainstay. It's a place where everyone goes to to grab a burger because they're the best burgers in town by far. Because everything else is pretty much fast food and stuff like that. Another mainstay is up is uh, James Street. And James Street's just a nice street to walk down to. You see all these little mom and, mom and pop shops, you see people in there just having a good time. It's a nice thing to see. This James Street is kind of like on steroids compared to our James Street. It still has all your little mom and pop shops, but 10 times more than usual. So like, in my opinion, if anybody goes from a small town to the big city, my biggest piece of advice to you, sure, go out, get used to the city, try to get to know people for sure. The more people you know, the better it is, the more comfortable you're gonna be. But at the same time, I didn't wanna lose who I was as a person. I didn't wanna lose myself. So I just stayed true to who I, who, who I was personally and you know, just tried to be myself in the big city like I was in, in Wallsburg. So I wasn't going to go out of my way to do anything that was unfamiliar for me. So I just kept it simple and, you know, eventually it worked. I got, I got to know quite a few people from school and got to be friends with them. So that helped out a lot. But I just tried, stayed true to myself and didn't really change a whole lot, which, you know, has helped in the long run, thankfully.